In 1 Corinthians 13, we get one of the better known uh, passages of Scripture on love. And Paul's descriptor of the greatness of love. But in 1 Corinthians 13, 13, we find this uh, familiar verse. And now faith, hope, and love abide or remain. These three, the greatest of these is love. Faith. What is faith? I believe faith is the thing that guides us in and through life. And faith is placed in or on something. There's something that we have bet the farm on. There's something that we have placed our faith in to bring to us what it is that we long for, to bring us where it is that we hope to be, to create in us the character that we long to capture. Faith. We see faith displayed in John's Gospel, uh, John chapter 6, and things have gotten difficult uh, in the teaching of Jesus and the call of Jesus to his disciples. And often we find with Jesus there is the disciples around him and then the larger crowd, uh, some who believe and want to become disciples, others who are there out of interest or entertainment. We get some of the Pharisees who are there, who are there to catch Jesus uh, and uh, trip him up uh, in order that he might be arrested. But we always have or often have this larger crowd around Jesus and the disciples. And Jesus has, has been teaching and some of the crowd has found his teaching difficult. And so have left. And Jesus has this conversation uh, with the twelve in verse 67 of John 6. Do you also wish to go away? Simon Peter, of course it's Simon Peter who speaks up. And Simon Peter, Peter answered him, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. That's faith. What do you put your faith in? Simon Peter put his faith in Jesus Christ, that he was the one who has come to reveal the very heart and ways of God. And this is what Peter wanted, to know the heart of God. And if Jesus is the one who reveals the heart of God, then where else could I go? Faith. Hebrews 11 is known as a great faith chapter in the Bible. In Hebrews chapter 11, and you may know this definition of faith that we find. In Hebrews 11, it, the chapter begins, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for. The conviction of things not seen, indeed, by faith our ancestors received approval. By faith we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. Faith, the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen, but I want you to catch verse 2. Indeed, by faith our ancestors received approval. Then the faith that gets unpacked in verse 4 and following in Hebrews 11 is a faith which acts similar to Peter. Where else will I go? I'll stay here. Faith is a response to the revealed heart of God which calls for decision, which calls for action. By faith we read in verse 8 that, Hebrew, that Abraham obeyed when he is called to set out for a place that was that he was received as an inheritance he set out not knowing where he was going but he knew the one who called him faith we find the account of Moses in this chapter by faith Moses considered the abuse in verse 26 suffered for Christ to be greater wealth than the treasures of Egypt for he was looking ahead to the reward by faith Moses left Egypt unafraid of the king's anger, 
for he persevered as though he saw him who is invisible. By faith, Moses headed out into the wilderness. By faith, Abraham headed out into a land that he did not know. By faith, Peter stayed with the Jesus who was leading them somewhere other than into the ways of this world. Matthew chapter 14. Matthew 14. In Matthew 14, we get the powerful account of not only Jesus walking on water, but Peter walking on water. We read in verse 22, immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go out uh, ahead to the other side of the sea while he dismissed the crowds. It's Jesus who sends the disciples out in the boat onto the sea. And after he dismissed the crowds, Jesus went up uh, the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, Jesus was there alone, but by this time the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land and the wind was against against them. I want to pause here. This word wind used in Matthew 14 is a word used for empty doctrine. So it's a wind, but it's also a word that's analogous for empty doctrine. The wind was against them. And early in the morning, Jesus came walking toward them on the sea, but when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost, and they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, as I do not be afraid. And Peter answered him in verse 28 of Matthew 14, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. And Jesus said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water. And came toward Jesus. But when he noticed the wind, he became frightened and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Lord, deliver me. Lord, redeem me. And immediately Jesus reaches out his hand and catches Simon Peter or Peter and said to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? Why did you doubt? Why did you lack faith in that you could walk on water? The empty doctrine is that one must remain in the boat in order to be safe. The invitation of faith is to get out of the boat and walk on the water. The invitation of faith is to leave your home place and go to a land that you do not know. The invitation of faith is to go against the king's edict and leave Egypt. That's not empty doctrine. A strong faith. When they get into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped Jesus, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. This word wind we find in Matthew 7. If you recall the account or story in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 7, where one builds their house on the rock, and the winds come, and the rains and the floods, but the house does not fall, for it's built on the rock. In Matthew chapter 11, Jesus is speaking of John the Baptist. And he says, what did you go out in the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by the wind. The wind that Peter faced, the wind that the house built upon the rock faced, the wind that came against John the Baptist had no effect. Because their faith was in the Lord and what it is that he was doing. Think of that song, Spirit lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander. And my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. Jesus is not 
often found in the boat. Jesus is not found, other than sometimes going out into the wilderness out upon the sea in faith. Let the Lord lead us to where he is. To his praise we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.